Ariwa Development Support Initiative, a non-governmental organization, says it will train and empower persons living with disabilities in the Federal Capital Territory to eliminate poverty. Mrs. Ladi Truman, the lead administrator of the group, said this in Abuja during an intervention visit to the FCT community in Karmajiji Airport Road, Abuja. Mrs. Ladi Truman, the lead administrator of the group, said this in Abuja during an intervention visit to the FCT disabled community in Karmajiji Airport Road, Abuja. We decided to come together, people of one mind and uh, one vision, to see that we bring a change to the north. We believe in ourselves that the government is not supposed to do everything. Therefore, our association is to support and encourage the government to do much more for the Arewas. We have uh, trained and empowered youth and uh, that will continue all over the north, uh, the 19 northern states and FCT. And we're hoping that we will come back here, having had discussions with them, knowing what their needs are, so that more people will be trained, they will be empowered. Mr. Tor Solomon, the Benue FCT administrator of the group, also said that ATSI was at the community to basically show solidarity to the physically challenged in order to give them a sense of belonging. We feel that the only way we can show appreciation to God is um, coming to them, sharing what part of what God has given us to ensure that they feel that they are not being alienated, that they are not being discriminated, but also to let them know that they too will become important in the society. We are not sharing because we have it too much but because it is a burden on our hearts to ensure that people who are less privileged also have a place in society. That is why we are basically here, to show solidarity, to encourage them so that they too can contribute. The group supported the community with food items and toiletries.